So now we have our form set up, but we need to do something. Right now, if we hit save, it's just going to keep refreshing the page. It's not going to actually do anything. So let's go back to Abtana. And up here above the uh, above the form, let's do some PHP tags. We're going to do if and then post. And let's go ahead and before we do this, let's come down here and we're going to add an input field that's hidden. So we're going to do input, the type is going to be hidden. the name submitted and the value is going to be one and we're going to use this to check to see if the form was submitted well, there's other ways to do this but uh, we're going to do it this way so if post and then the key is going to be submitted is equal to 1. So if the form was submitted then that hidden input field is going to have the value of 1. So this will be true. We're going to run a query and we're going to do insert into pages and the way we do an insert query is we give the uh, tables columns first. We'll just go ahead and for simplicity do this in the order that we've listed them in the form. So title, comma, label, comma, header, comma, body. So after that we want to do values. So we do values in all caps and then now in these parentheses we need to match up the values with the proper columns. So this first one in single quotes because it's a string you need to do post and remember when we're doing um, arrays inside of a query here or really within the double quotes we don't put the single quote between the brackets. So post title there you go then comma now a little trick I like to do that speeds things up because I know these are going to be the same is just copy and paste this. I'm going to include the comma and the space after it so I can do copy, control C, control V, control V, control V, control V, and then just delete this last comma, which that's very important. So just a little trick there. So now we can just go ahead and change these keys here to be appropriate. So label, title, or sorry, title, label, header, and the body. Go ahead and close this at the end. Now let's go ahead and run that query and get the result. Store it in R. And send it the database connection and our query which is Q. So technically at this point we could be done with this query because if the form is submitted it's going to go ahead and run this query and hopefully insert what we wanted into the database. However we kind of want to know if it happened and uh, something I've been seeing as issues on uh, um, GitHub lately for the videos is people having trouble with their queries and uh, I, I've posted a solution a simple solution for debugging on there but we hadn't really talked about it on the videos yet so let's go ahead and get to that so a really simple way to debug a query in general is we're gonna first check to see if R has a value so if R 
So if R has a value, then the query ran. So we can go ahead and do an echo. And we'll go ahead and make this uh, paragraph tags. Just tell the, we'll just type out page was added. Go ahead and close that up. Now for the error part of it, after the uh, if statement here, we're going to do an else. So if r does not have a value, then we're going to first echo the MySQL error function. But let's let's put a little message in there before it. P for paragraph page could not be added because do a space after that and then we're going to concatenate and we're going to toss in the mysql i underscore error function and that just needs the dbc for database connection okay and then let's go ahead and something that you'll notice if you if you just run this by itself you're going to get an error most likely i mean assuming that you did something wrong um, you'll get an error code and message from MySQL, but sometimes it's not very descriptive at all. I mean, it kind of tells you what's wrong and, and where to look, but um, you'll find that this next step is, is really important to this process. We're going to go ahead and also echo out the query. So we'll do echo paragraph tag. Let's go ahead and concatenate, throw in the Q variable there concatenate again and put the closing paragraph tag in there. And there you go. So you might think this is strange because we can see the query right here, but that's not entirely true. We're only seeing what we're telling it to have in it. But if we want to see what these values actually are, then echoing this out is going to be really helpful. Because if there's something in this string that's uh, breaking our query or anything like that, we can see it then. So that's pretty important. So let's go ahead and save, and we'll test this out. So we'll go ahead and reload the page. And we have undefined index, and that's because we have not defined the uh, post submitted. And that's just because of our error settings. So we'll ignore that for the moment. And we'll put in test for the title, test for the label test for the header, and then something else for the body. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now we're getting an error message here. And I actually did this on purpose so that we would, we would see how this comes out. And it's telling us page could not be added because, and that's the line that we put in. This is the message coming from MySQL and PHP, table atomcms.page does not exist that's true it doesn't because we called it pages so this uh, this example here this is pretty spot on and, and kinda tells you right away what's wrong but you can still come down here and see now the values being put in here and this kinda helps uh, you know pinpoint what's wrong so let's hop over to Aptana really quick down on line 74 insert into pages and uh, while we're at it Let's go ahead and add is set to this post submitted. And that should get rid of our uh, undefined index error. So we'll save that. And we'll reload the page. So our index error is gone. Now let's try this again. Test, 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 and testing the body. Save page was added. Now you'll notice we don't see it over here on the list. So you might think, hmm, maybe this is wrong. Maybe the page wasn't added. But if I go ahead and reload the page, now we see it. Now the reason why is because of where we're running the query. The insert query is being run after we pull the list of pages. So we actually want to go ahead and run this right before this 
So let's go ahead and cut this out and put it up here above the select query. And we'll clean this up a little later, but let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and add another page. Test two, test two, test two, in the body two. And save that. And now we have it added over here. 